to now the worldwide tech outage. Airports have been scrambling after flights had to be grounded for those disruptions. Take a look at some of the long lines and confusion from passengers at airports in Nashville, Tennessee, Berlin, Berlin, Paris, plenty more. Flights from major airlines were grounded for what's believed to be a software update by a cybersecurity firm. And Sacramento International Airport not exempt from these troubles at all. KCR3's Mike Tassell has been talking to travelers all morning that have been stuck there. Mike? Yeah, and a lot of frustration being expressed by some of those travelers. We're inside Terminal A, and the best way to keep update to what's going on here is to look at the flight board, and uh, the right side of the departures list uh, kind of tells the tale, seeing a little, few more uh, Delays trying to take off than those on time, and a couple of canceled flights already this morning an American flight to Dallas and a uh Delta flight to Salt Lake City. Those two canceled this morning uh, along with multiple delays. But take a look because we have video of people who had to spend the night here at the airport because this goes back to the 10 o'clock hour when uh, have multiple reports from multiple people on multiple overnight flights uh, saying they were actually on their plane uh, for a couple of hours actually when they were told they were returning to the gate. They had to deplane. They had to get their bags. Uh, they got their bags and now uh, many of them in limbo as they still don't have a confirmed seat on a flight getting out of Sacramento, which uh, the airport saying even though this IT situation is resolved and things are starting to move, that doesn't mean instantly everything gets back to normal. Here's a spokesperson for the Sacramento International Airport. Listen. There is going to take a little bit more time for us to come up back online completely. So there are going to still be some delays around the check-in counters and things like that. So it's never going to be just a flip of a switch. Um, so you've got to allow for that as well. So the best advice uh, that the airport has right now is if you are flying out of SAC International today, uh, check ahead of time with your airline, check online, check with the airline to see if your flight is still uh, on time, whether it's delayed or whether it's canceled, and then take the next appropriate steps. But the uh, spokesperson for the airline saying uh, the biggest thing he can, biggest piece of advice is be patient right now because uh, the airport's doing all it can to make it as easy as possible for you to get to your check-in, but it's up to the airlines really uh, to figure out what your flight plans are going to be moving forward. So uh, he understands the frustration, but the airport hoping uh, that you'll show them a little bit of patience as they work through this uh, computer situation live inside Terminal A. Mike Tassell. KCR Ray 3 News. Mike, thanks so much for that live report. Of course, we're going to continue to follow this breaking story throughout the morning for around the clock updates on this breaking news. Download the KCR 3 app and turn on the push alerts.